Well, things did change uh, post Brexit. So, but it was like mid 2021. So it's been a while. Uh, since then, it's just that, as Richard was saying, it's just they've, they've tightened. Uh, actually, they're keeping. They keep on tightening up the rules. Uh, the, well, although uh, you may find people that would say, "Okay, well, I've used this and it and, and it went was accepted, so I went through the, the cracks." So it can, you know, we're talking about humans, not robots. So sometimes uh, you might have been lucky, or you know, they, they might not have spot. Uh, that you have used an Airbnb, for example, as the address or something like that, doesn't mean it is the way to go. So for medical insurance policies, it's pretty much the same. Uh, you need to have uh, in and outpatient benefits up to 30K cover. Although, you know, in London, for example, and in New York, they would expect 100,000. No reason. It's just that this is what they want. Probably think of posture in these places, you know, um, or... So you also need something, but there are some undisclosed rules. I mean, they say that you need a policy without any kind of medical exclusions. But in some cases, they know also know, uh, as is typically French, they also know it is not it's not possible if you are in your 60s or 70s. I mean, obviously you had something. There is something that's going to end up being excluded. And it, they are aware of that. But as long as it's not disclosed on the certificate of insurance, they'll be happy with it. So it's all a matter of finding a policy. And that's why we keep on referring this, you know, whoever you end up working with guys, make sure you work with people that know the drill. And if, well, even better, obviously I'll say we're the best work with us, but work with people that can kind of guarantee the result or well, the result's not possible, but if there is no result, then you'll get refunded or they'll can cancel the premium or void the service, whatever, or they'll reapply, but make sure they've battle tested their services with friend visas because you know, some policies, I don't know, like IMG uh, uh, in the US or Bupa in the UK, they do have some plans that are compatible. But so far, they're very expensive most of the time. And, and not all plans are compatible. So again, this is very, very it's paramount importance that you work with guys, people so such as Richard and I, that, that have been through the process literally thousands of times and that knows the process. Otherwise, you may think you're in the green and end up being rejected. Actually, it could be like, like I don't want to be like a fear monger. It's just the result of not doing things right. Base case scenario, you're lucky. Like average each scenario, you could just slip through the cracks, but they notice something. And so instead of a 12 month visa, they'll provide you with a six month visa, probably like catastrophe. Then you'll need to reapply and get back to the UK or to the US, you know, or worse, you may end up being rejected. Uh, so yeah. So, but the, the layout of the certificate of insurance was, well, you know, it's dull, definitely. But it, this is important. The layout of the certificate is actually very important. So that's why it's super important that you work with people that have done this before, like not just once or twice, like really like thousands and hundreds of times. Um, yeah. I'll just jump in there to say I um, I absolutely vouch for that because I, I like to think I'm quite up to date on the rules. Obviously, at French Ontario, we try to keep up to date with what's going on, but we're not actually making those applications all the time. And uh, these two would always be my first go to to get that up to date information because you're actually doing it all the time. And it does make a big difference. Yeah. I, I, and I, yeah. Thanks for the support, Zoe. <laughs> Thank but, you. But, uh, Richard was pointing out as well. Uh, the rules keep on kind of evolving. Oh, well, obviously, this is not like a 180 degrees turn that they're doing every day, but sometimes you know, there's slight changes. And, and again, some of the rules are either undisclosed or not very clear. Like, for example, you may, uh, you may, you may come at the uh, TLS center or VFS in the US uh, and you, you're bringing all the documents with you. You know, everything is fine. You have the certificate of insurance, all is in order. And you just discover on the spot that they also expect something called the proof of full payment, like the, the invoice basically for your insurance policy. And if you didn't bring that along, well, uh, again, not being a, a scaremonger because the fearmonger, because the, what they'll say is, okay, well, after the appointment, you have like, like seven days or whatever to send us the document. Okay. It's hardly going to be a hard rejection. You know, it's never, it's never going to happen, but again, this is going to be a roadblock anyway. And you don't want that to happen because maybe you're already very tight on scheduled or, you know. So all that to say, this is really important to, to be working with people because on paper, and 
Well, Richard was saying originally, I think this is very important. We both, we both born in, in France, we been raised in France, and there is like a French way to do things. You know, there is the thing as written on the paper, and there is actually what needs to be done in real life. Like, for example, when you go at the interview at the TLS Center, you're excited. And actually, that's not a word you should say in French, no. <laughs> but you're excited. And uh, so you, you want to, you know, you, you want to prove that you would not be a burden. So you tend to, you know, tell them as much information as you want, because you want to prove that, for example, you have sufficient means of income and sufficient savings, etc. So you, you're kind of tempted to show off, you know, like all the assets you have, all the, and actually you may end up in doing actually more wrong than good because they may, you know, you have to consider the guy in front of you is probably going to be helpful. He wants to be helpful, but you might also be triggering the guy, like triggering him, like uh, he doesn't know wh which box he should tick, or you, you, you've shown him information that sounds a bit suspicious from his perspective. He would not say anything, but you may head up with a six-month visa instead. I, well, it doesn't happen very often, again, not being a fear monger because over more than a thousand applications each year, uh, it's, it's happened like two or three times in, in my case. But what this it's does... Like Sorry to cut you off. Does that actually happen that um, somebody applies for a 12 month visa and then they, if they're given a six month visa? Not if they go through Richard. Never happened with that. <laughs> of course. That's, that's any dog. It's completely true. But I've seen, I've seen it very often these days. A, a lot of the questions that I've, I've seen come through already are based on EU nationals that are married to, to or married to an EU national. This is what's rejecting a 12 to a six at the moment. And if they're lucky, they get a six. So I would have always said 12 months ago for convenience, get yourself a 12 month long stay visa, even if you have an EU spouse, because the process in France can take quite a while and you might need to travel. Um, but recently the, the TLS centers, uh, not so much in the VFS centers in the U S but the, um, the, the TLS centers in, in the UK or around the, the, the globe, and that stretches all the way to China and to uh, Australia. So they, 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 they're the biggest agency. They, they've obviously been told as soon as there's an EU national partner, you don't give a visa, you tell them to go to France. And that's all very well and good as long as that's accepted afterwards. And as long as it doesn't take more than 90 days or that in this case, you, you haven't already spent your 90 days. And then you'd be stuck in France until your application went through. So they are refused quite often at the moment. And they're given out six months ones instead, because they might have my support. And I've got some lovely clients that are moving into one of my apartments actually in the next few weeks. It's exactly that case, Polish passport, English wife. And it's not even a reunification because the Polish husband hasn't gone to France yet. So actually I probably we looked into it they might even be wrong this is the whole thing i think sometimes even the french government or the agent of the french government can get confused um the the agent could get confused you could end up with the wrong visa the good news is you can reapply um I, the, I think the only thing that i would really not recommend is overstaying in france on your 90 days so get the wrong visa, you can reapply. But if you overstay on your 90 days and you know that and you don't have proof that you're doing something actively for that, that's not a great idea. Does overstaying your 90 days affect your ability to apply for a long stay visa in the future? P potentially there's no, it's a gray area. Um, on paper, probably yes, but in reality, maybe no, but the, 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 the truth of the matter is, is that if you've done that and you weren't aware, then it's about being able to back that up and prove it. And again, you could be really lucky, Zoe, on the day you go in there, they're busy, they go quickly, they don't check your passport off, you know. It, it, it's important to understand, I think, for all you guys watching, in the centers, they're very helpful. They will really make sure that they're, they're trying to make sure that you've applied for the right type. So you're not wasting the consulate's time, essentially. That's the, that's what eventually they're being contracted for, but they are very helpful. Um, and as Fabian said, the biggest mistake is to overshare in a way. Um, 
it's not so much oversharing because you're doing something wrong. It's just that you're, you're giving that agent potentially far too much information and he doesn't know or she doesn't know what to do with that. Um, and they don't want to do something wrong, you know, and end up with somebody that's, you know, not paying taxes or not in, not in the right context. And, um, yeah, I, I think it's, it's quite common that visas are rejected, but there's no need to panic. The only problem that we have, and we're as stressed as you guys when you contract us, um, is if you're on a very, very tight, tight frame of, of time when you need your passport back because you're a business person and you're going to be traveling, or it's, you know, you've got a, a relative that's sick and you need for them to come to join you in France, all these kind of things. And every day, unfortunately, we get those scenarios. Um, and I'd love to say that everybody contacts me six months before they move. In fact, even 12 months is a good time to contact us. You know, we, we start for most of our American clients, we might start six, seven months on average before they actually plan to move. But um, to answer your question, yes, there is an awful lot of rejections, changes of types of visas, changes of applications on the day. So you can, you, the reasons for the visa request are multiple and at, one 12 month long stay visa with renewability can actually be applied for in different formats. I'm not going to bore you all with it today, but that's why doing this alone is quite daunting. And that's also why they're talking about this reform because they are scared that second homeowners are going to be selling their properties and not returning to France. And so it would be a terrible shame because we would love to be able to help you guys. Um, and yes, we're not a free service, but I think overall we, we propose a, you know, a really inclusive package. And for those certainly that are working, it makes no, you know, it makes no, you, you would want to use our services, um, because you'll just save so much hassle. And plus, as we mentioned before, there's accountability, right? We are accountable for it. I think the, the reason Fabio and I have grown to the size that we are today is because both Fabio and I really care. I genuinely, we really care about the situation. It affects us. We'll be stressed with the clients, with the members of staff that are doing it. Um, and, and we want the successful outcome at the end of the day, although we, we are big businesses these days, we are still, you know, uh, privately owned and it affects us. All of these political reforms, all of the fact that people can't come, won't come while well, choose not to, but of course that will affect our business. And I think what we want to always do is be the, the hand that helps um, overall and find solutions. And as Fabian rightly said, I think we remind ourselves this quite often now these days. The reason we can find solutions is because quand je parle français, je suis vraiment français. Uh, and, uh, and, and the fact of that is that being French and that mentality, it's not sometimes the language, it's the, it's fine. And, and quite often I would like to reassure everyone that thinks that France is this kind of bureaucratic nightmare within that, what's fantastic about for And it's okay as long as you're French. And so I, I can't kind of complain. We built a business around this, but if you do ask people for help, they will help you. Like this. Uh, so I think the stage of the visa application often is done by a subcontracted company with a person of your nationality in your own country. So you're not going to get that assistance. You're not at the consulate. You're not speaking to a French person. But once you are in France, there's, uh, you know, we, we can talk to the French government and they are humans and they're very old school. Uh, although they've hidden themselves behind digital walls, we have the keys to open those, those doors. Um, and we, we find an awful lot of solutions, but it's very challenging for sure.